Hi guys, my name is Fi Fi and welcome back to another episode of Dyson Sphere Program. I nearly forgot to say program then. But yeah, welcome back to another episode. So today, what are we going to do today? We're going to do something crazy today. We're going to go and find a black hole. Yep, a black hole. So in this cluster, I have this cluster of stars. We zoom all the way out. These are all the different stars, and there's multiple different stars. You've got a neuron star, ne neutron star, sorry. You've got red giants, you've got K-type stars, B-type stars, O-type stars. You've got loads, loads and loads and loads. But you've got this special one over here, a black hole. Now, if you look, we get unipolar magnets. We get fractal silicon and fire ice. Nothing too great apart from this thing here. Now. I could, because I have seen it somewhere else as well, in this neutron star, which is only 12 light years away, there is a unipolar magnet. So I could actually go there. It's actually got pretty much the same as the black hole. But this is a black hole. Like, who doesn't want to go over here? So I'm going to go over here. I may set up a few things. I may not. I may just, um, just check it out and see what it's like around there, see what the planets are like around there, see what I can do. But, um, and I might just build some stuff on here to get the uh, unipolar magnets and other stuff. But we're definitely going to check out this black hole in this episode. So let's get straight into it. So I have got a few things here. I've got my little um, picnic basket of uh, fuel, buildings, just in case we need some uh, conveyor belts and such and such and such and some foundation just in case i have yeah that's it really that's all i need oh and i've been making where are they these bad boys so we can warp as much as we need oh, i can only put 20 in there darn yeah and i've put these in here because i just want to get rid of this like who needs this at this point right but it's not using it. it it wants to use this first can i i can take that out but I'm not going to do that yet because we're going to be going and flying 22 light years to a black hole. So navigation, that is the problem. I don't know if there's an easy way to navigate. Can I pin it somehow with this one? Can I lock it, follow? No, that's all that stuff. If I press tab on it, nope. Okay. so. That looks like it is past the red giant. And I don't know what a red giant is, so we might jump into the red giant and see what that's about as well. These B stars, they just seem normal. Yeah, so we're gonna pass Beta Pisicum, Manis, Manis. So we wanna jump to Manis first. Let's go to Manis. So, all right, that didn't work properly. All right, so let's get out of this system. And that is not the one I want. I want... How are you meant to see? Okay, you can hover over it. 11 light years away. Um, wow. <laughs> I'm already lost. What's that one? Nope. Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna find this um this star system and we're gonna start making our way there. So I will see you guys in a sec. Okay, we are pretty much here. Look how that is massive, isn't it? It is so bright. We're still about 14 uh, AU, I think they say it. Yeah, an ice planet there. Let's, let me zoom out. We can. It seems like there's two planets here, but they're very close to each other. Uh, let's see my fuel. That's the button. Uh, the fuel hasn't gone down that much. I've had to warp a few times because I've run out of, whoops, I've run out of energy. So down here, um, yeah, it, it depletes really fast when you're warping. 
So it does take a few warp cores to do. But we're pretty much there. Let me try and get a bit closer via warping. Yeah, that is very close there. Oh wow, look at that. That is massive. Looks so beautiful though, doesn't it? Screenshot time. All right, now them screenshots are taken. Let's go check out these two planets. And then we're gonna head on over to the black hole, which is, I think another six light years or 10 light years. This one was around 15 light years away from our original base. So it, it, was, a it was a fair distance, it was a fair distance. The black hole is pretty much at the edge of our cluster anyway. So we're going pretty far out. All right, so that's a gas giant. Definitely. And this is an ice planet. Nice. So what has that got in it? That's got hydrogen. It's got a decent amount of a production. It's better than my planet, than my system, star system. And it looks like it's got sulfuric acid ocean. Oh, that was a hard landing. Look at this. Three million, like four million in one cluster of... Whoa. No way. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's a ridiculous amount of metal in this one planet. That's crazy. Solar energy is really good. Wow. Just wow. That is a that is something that maybe we'll need to come to in a very, very long time, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Nearly 40 million in just one planet. This is better than most of the stars around my my base put together. <laughs> that is crazy. It looks cool. It's a magma planet, ice planet sort of thing. Um, but yeah, that's it, volcanic ash. There you go. So we are gonna move on to uh, the black hole. Now I'm just saving some energy up and the black hole is just there. Um, nine light years away. It'll take me one minute, five seconds of pure warping, but I can't warp for that long, I don't think. So <laughs> it will take a few turns. So I will see you when we get to the black hole and we'll check that out. Okay, we're coming up to it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's come out. Whoa, I went straight past that. <laughs> Look at that thing. That is crazy. <laughs> I flew straight past it. I feel like the distance, oh, I was mostly looking at that planet's distance. Before we go to that planet, we're going to take a look at this. That planet looks small though. Does the planet even survive next to a black hole? Like, it mostly will for a while and then slowly get sucked in. But look at that bad boy. That's crazy. Let's speed up a bit. So let me save it because I don't I wanna try and go in it and <laughs> see what happens. See if I die. I've got enough fuel and all that. Okay. In fact, let me just put some more fuel in there. There we go. But that looks beautiful, doesn't it? It seems so far away. Right, it's taken forever to get there. Okay, it's like two AU. We should get there in a few seconds. We're going max speed. Wow, look at that. No, that means screenshot time. All right, so we're, we're really close to it now. All right, what happens? Oh, wow, I'm slowing down, but it's speeding me up.
Yeah, that's speeding me up. Whoa. Okay. I can fly around it like a planet. That is crazy. Look at that. I'm flying around a, uh, <laughs> a black hole. Lovely. All right, let's um, let's go check out this planet. So I kind of saw the um, the stats of this planet when I went onto that black hole because it's when you go into the star of a cluster of a system, it shows you the whole stats for the planet or the cluster or the system. Sorry, fumbling all over my words. But because there's only one planet here, so that means whatever it showed me is all on this planet. So my speed is slowing down drastically. So it's kind of pulling me. So let's try and speed away from that. Get out of its sort of atmosphere. And um, yeah, I'll see you when we get to this planet. Okay, we are coming up to this planet. DSR J1338001. Lovely. I'm, now everything has a name apart from this black hole planet. So let's let's check this out. It's a nice planet. Looks like there's water. Oops, that hurt. And look at this stuff. This is the stuff that we came here for. It looks like it's glitched out, doesn't it? It looks like it's lagged out. But I'm guessing that's the effect of magnetism. All right, and so let's see what's on this planet. What we got, nearly 60 million titanium. What kind of ridiculousness is that? That's ridiculous. <laughs> 60 million titanium. Fire ice, nearly 60 million, and 50 million fractal silicon. And only one million of this. So you can see it's quite a rare resource because I've only ever seen it on two star systems, a neutron star and a black hole. So this stuff is... It's quite the rare, quite rare stuff. Um, but yeah, these numbers are crazy. Uh, let's try and find, oh, look, there's a fractured silicon. Nice. And let's try and find fire ice. There we go, all next to each other. It seems like a small planet. Yeah, there's a bit of space here, I guess. And then you've got the fire and ice. That's lovely. See, now this will be a really good place to like have a late game base, but for your vehicles to travel here, I don't know how long it'll take. Um, we are getting a, one of the last upgrades for uh, the speed, which is gonna bring its um, warp speed up by quite a little bit, by 50%, I believe. Um, well, let's see. Well, not 50%, it went up by like two, 0.02. So our warp speed is this, their warp speed is this. The only difference is I believe that they don't run out of energy. So they should only take one warp where we run out of energy. So it takes us a lot longer. Um, their moving speed is nearly as fast as ours. So they could get here. I mean, like it, it could take a couple of minutes, but yeah, I think, I think this is, actually quite a nice area for resources. I'm going to check the neutron star next to the base, but this is not a bad area. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. This rotates really fast though. <laughs> this rotates really fast. But yeah, well, I think that is an episode complete. So thank you very much for joining me. Um, I think on the next episode, we might I either uh, populate that neutron star next to our base to get some of this materials or something else. Let's see. I will have a plan, I promise you. And I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.